we're so glad you came. You guys look so cute. Oh, Sandra over here. <laughs> okay, okay, you party animals. I can have your attention for just a minute. <laughs> I wanted to say how happy I am that you could join Holly and me for our special day. You know, I think I got it right this time. As they say, the third time's the charm. <laughs> third? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't tell you about my first marriage. Mm -hmm. I was young and stupid, it doesn't really count. <laughs> then I guess I don't need to tell you about what happened with Derek the stripper at my bachelorette party then either. <laughs> Spill the beans, girl. <laughs> What happens at Color Me Mine stays at Color Me Mine. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, yeah, I forgot, sorry. But really, if I can be serious for just a minute, which might be hard because I've been drinking since 9 a.m., I want to thank you all for coming, really. And a big thank you to my man of honor, the fabulous Christopher. Oh, no, you're the fabulous. You're the fabulous. No, you're the fabulous. You're the fabulous. Okay. <laughs> and to my amazing husband, Hank. With you, honey, I feel like I have found... Oh, honey, no, don't say it. No, 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 I don't want to embarrass you, and I know it's probably uh... a cliche, but... With you, I feel like I have finally found... Someone who enjoys hot, nasty sex as much as I do! <laughs> what did you say? Nothing, honey. What did you say? Nothing. Just that I love you. I love you, too. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I'm talking about one ceiling fan. That back room is like a sauna. I can't concentrate, much less write. What part of can't afford it right now don't you understand? I work too, Hank. It's not like all the money we put into this house is your money. I think we have 50 bucks in our checking account, Holly. The Amex has a zero balance. Oh great, let's run the credit cards up again. <sighs> when did you become such an asshole? When did you become such a... Such a what? Say it, such a bitch? I wasn't going to say bitch. <laughs> well, then what were you going to say? God, where did you get the fucking steak? Goodyear tires? Mayfair. What? I got the fucking steak at Mayfair. They changed the name to Gelson's. Whatever. <sighs> God. What happened to us, Holly? We never even fought when we were dating. Not a single fight I can think of. We get married and we buy a house. Two years later, and all we do is fight. I thought that time you locked my cat in the refrigerator. Smokey Joe! I love that cat! If we hadn't come home before the movie, I don't think she would have made it. I thought we saw that she was a he, Smokey Joe. <laughs> she popped out of that fridge and scared us to death. <laughs> her stomach was all wet from seeing all that plate of watermelon. <laughs> I miss her. Mr. Wells, you only have a few more minutes. Nurse Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> don't go. You're gonna be fine. It'll be over before you know it. I don't wanna get back in that bed. I know. I'm scared. You have nothing to worry about. You've got one of the best doctors in the country. Honey. Yeah, babe. If anything happens. Holly, nothing is going to happen. But if anything does happen, I left my will in the top drawer of the desk. Remember? 
Holly. I didn't leave you anything. (laughs) (laughs) I had so many dreams, Hank. I feel like I haven't accomplished half of them. Well, you will, honey. You're right, and we'll travel together. Go open that little shop and sell, what do you call it again? Ephemera? Yeah, you're gonna sell the hell out of ephemera. (laughs) Never had kids. I'd probably be a terrible father. You'd be an amazing father. (laughs) Mr. Wells, it is time for you to go. We have to take your wife to surgery and we can't do that if you are in the way now, can we? She hates me. <laughs> All right, Alan. See you in a few hours. Okay. Love you, sweetheart. I love you too. No. What? No, I don't want to do it. Are you joking? <laughs> Not at all. I've been thinking about this a long time. I'll live as long as I live, but I I can't do this anymore, babe. Honey, I don't know. I know it sounds crazy, and I'm not giving up. I'm not. I just, I want to do this my way. I'll I'll keep doing the alternative stuff. I'll keep seeing Dr. Zito. Could we, could we maybe sell the house and all those things we don't need and get an apartment like when we first met? You're serious. Honey, I will do whatever you decide. But promise me if down the road you change your mind, you'll let me know. I promise. We can always do this later. I know. An apartment, huh? Can we get a cat? We can get two. (laughs) Mr. Wells, really? You have to leave. Mr. Wells. Meow. Excuse me. Meow. (laughs) (laughs) A soft place to fall. Somebody to lean on. Somebody to call. When times get bad, our friend who's there in your darkest hour, winter, spring, summer, a soft place to fall. It's nice to know it's always there, a soft place to fall, someone who cares. It's nice to know It's always there A soft place to fall Someone who cares A soft place to fall